to Empower In and thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and welcome to Anatomy 101. This is the third video in this Anatomy 101 series. So if you'd like to watch the other videos in the series, make sure you click the card up here for all of the videos in this series. In this video, we're going to be going over the structure of the skin and also the different layers of the skin and their functions. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> the integumentary system. The integumentary system is the multi-layered skin which covers and protects the body. To date, most people, especially women, tend to only associate the skin with aesthetics. However, our skin is much more than an element of beauty. It is essential for survival. Did you know that a typical adult has a total skin surface area of up to 20 square feet? No wonder the integumentary system is the largest organ in the body, which makes up about 15% of our total body weight. The structure of the skin. Skin is the major organ for the integumentary system. It is composed of tissue, which surprisingly has not one or two types, but four, which are the epithelial, the connective, muscle, and nerve tissues. The epithelial tissue is involved in the covering of the surfaces, while the connective tissue provides protection and support. Deep into its functions, the muscle tissues make the movements possible and the nerve tissues connect the skin to the body's communication network. The general idea seems vague at this point, but don't worry, everything will be clear later as we discuss how the skin cooperates with the other organ systems. For now, let's familiarize ourselves with the structure of the integumentary system. The epidermis. The epidermis is the outermost layer of the skin. The epidermis can be up to 30 cells thick and is composed of epithelial tissues. Hold a regular textbook and feel one page. That's approximately how thick the epidermis layer is, but it still depends on the site. For instance, the soles of our feet typically have a thicker epidermis. While the thickness doesn't seem like much, the epidermis plays a major role in protection because of the keratin, which is a type of protein that can be found on this top layer. This keratin has the ability to waterproof the skin and protect the layers below it. Now you know that humans are truly waterproof. Another great thing about the epidermis is that it isn't just supplied with blood, it is the only nourishment by which blood vessels can be found in the second layer, which is called the dermis. This is the reason why we have dead skin cells at the very top of the dermis. Don't worry though, we tend to shut off those dead skin cells and replace them with new ones every three to five weeks. The color of your skin is also associated with the epidermis. This is because melanocytes, which are the cells that produce melanin, can be found on this layer. Melanin protects us from harmful UV rays. And the more melanin you have, the darker your skin color will be. Dermis. Dermis is the layer directly below the epidermis. It is significantly thicker than the epidermal layer, actually about 15 to 40 times thicker. If the epidermis is composed of epithelial tissue, the dermis is dominantly occupied by connective tissue. The connective tissues allow the skin to stretch and return to its original form. It also prevents tearing. The major type of cells in the dermal layer is the fibroblast. They produce essential connective tissues, particularly collagen and elastin. As you know, collagen is important to maintain the general health of the skin. That's why you see lots of collagen in the ingredients of beauty products. Elastin, on the other hand, has the ability to coil and recoil, so it increases that elasticity of our skin. Unlike the epidermal layer, the dermis contains blood vessels and is well nourished with oxygen. Additionally, it also has lymph nodes, which are special deposits that contain immune cells to fight off microorganisms that may threaten the body. Since the dermis is the thickest layer, it can house more structures like sweat glands, sebaceous or oil glands, hair follicles, muscle fibers, and nerve tissues. The subcutaneous layer. The subcutaneous layer is the innermost layer of the skin. This layer contains the fats which protect us from physical trauma. It also helps us to maintain our body temperature, especially when it's cold. As we age, the subcutaneous tissue deteriorates, causing sagging of the skin and wrinkles. Now that we have the foundations of the structure of the skin, it's time to discuss the integumentary systems involved
involvement with the other organ systems. Please understand that as we discuss the interrelation of the skin with the other organs, the physiology of the integumentary system will also be tackled. Alright guys, I really hope you liked that video going over the integumentary system. Make sure you stay tuned because in the next video that will be published shortly, we're going to go over the skin or the integumentary system and all the other organ systems and how it relates. It's really fascinating because there's so much more than what meets the eye. Our bodies are so amazing and complex and that's partly why I wanted to do this series for you because I was just so fascinated when I was taking anatomy. But unfortunately because of the overload of information, it's sort of hard to get to that point sometimes because you're just overwhelmed and inundated with material. So actually, if you are studying anatomy and physiology, I do have a program that shows you how I went from basically failing anatomy to acing it. And I've helped thousands of other students do the same. You can easily find the program by becoming a member of my channel, which will give you access to the exclusive content. Just hit the join button below this video or on the main page of the channel. Well, alright guys, have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.